So how's it everyone? So what I'm doing today is I'm just going to go through a quick rundown of how my loadout looks at the start of this year. Um, it's not the start of the year, I know it's February. I meant to do this in January, but I forgot. Um, so start, <laughs> yeah, so either way, starting off though, uh, because you're going to see them anyway, all the time. I'm starting off with my knife and glove. I have a, it's a field tested pair of... Um, Specialist Crimson, I think the Specialist was Crimson Web, and then I have the Talon Knife in also in Crimson Web in the middle where it's not a particularly special float, it's like 0.11 I think, but it's nice, it's not silly expensive and just nice looking, go together quite well in my opinion. Let's move on to the pistols. Starting off with this T side piss starting pistol, I have the Glock Warrior Elemental. It's minimal, it's not minimal wet, it's factory new, it is a double O float. And it has a baited hollow on the stock and three surfs up across the top. This is obviously made before the new sticker craft, uh, new sticker craft uh, like update where you can put stickers anywhere. And all these skins in fact were. But this is the Glock that I've been using for quite a while now actually. I like it and it's staying for now. Next up in the rotation is a pair of dual Berettas that I use. And you have the dual Beretta Panthers, again, double A float, factory new. And these have a 4x craft of uh, don't, pros don't fake. Because I think the sticker actually goes quite well with the uh, with the Panthers. Because it's, it's a matte sticker as well. It's, like, it's no shine, it's no hollow, it's no glitter. And it just suits the, suits the style quite well. I think it goes together quite well. And again, these have been, I've actually been using these for probably close to a year now. They're a very nice pair of jewelries. Not that expensive either. Let's go on to the next one. The next pistol up is my P250. And I use the Crimson Web. Uh, it's Crimson Web? No, I don't. It's a Crimson Kimono. It's not a double O float, but it is an O1 float. And it's got a really nice pan. Uh, <laughs> that's literally the end. It doesn't have any sticker crafts on it because I can't think of what sticker craft to put on it without ruining the actual pattern on it because the pattern on the top is why I've got this specific one there was a couple with better floats at around the same price but this one had a much nicer pattern because all the red was top all the red was top, all the top was red so again, if I find a nicer one uh, I do have a mint kimono somewhere it's a decent pattern and a double O float I just prefer the look of this one to be honest with you the next pistol I've got is I obviously use the Tech 9 um, I have it's a double O flow Isaac. Isaac? Isaac? Uh, and again, 4X because it was before the sticky graphic update. With Baby Howl Hollow. Not Hollow. Baby Howl paper thing. I don't know. I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you why I've got it. I just think I like how it looks. It seems to fit in quite well with the skin. And uh, yeah, it's the one I've been using for. There's been quite a lot of these skins that stay the same for a while, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, this is what I've been using. I like it quite a lot. Let's go on to the next one. And going to the last one with the pistols, we have got the Desert Eagle Print Stream. Because, of course, you use the Desert Eagle. I think this is field tested. Um, I think, yeah, this, this is a field tested print stream. Um, it's got a 3x sneaky beaky department hollow, I think it's called. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I put this one. I just think it, it seems to blend in quite well with like the sheen of the print stream. Uh, yeah, I like it. Made it myself. Had it for a while now. So that's the end of the t e pistols. Let's go into the uh, T side uh, SMGs now. <laughs> to kick them off in the mid tiers, I have the Mac 10, obviously, because it's just the best T side uh, SMG. I said that really weirdly. Um, and it's a double O float again. Uh, lapis Gator. I don't just really like how the blue is. It's not a skin you see actually all that often, really, which is quite surprising because it's really nice and quite affordable. Um, and then I slapped it with 3x of the uh, Into the Breach golds because they're cool and they're a British team that are in the major. And I've not seen one of them for a. I think it's the first time there's an all, like, all mostly British lineup. Uh, so I thought I'd support the boys, get the gold stickers for them, slap them on a couple of guns. So that's what I've done there. My next uh, mid-tier ri uh, rifle? Mid-tier weapon, uh, T-side. Probably my favourite to not use necessarily. It's probably my second favourite to use, but was probably my favourite skin. 
It's my souvenir minimal wear Nova Walnut with best position Cato 15s nip and TSM. I really like how the Cato 15s look and these gold stickers just are so nice. They go really well with the gun because it's quite a plain gun and just gives it that little pop of colour. And I've had this for like four years and I have no intention of getting rid of it because it's just awesome. And then because funny, I use the Bison as my... Uh, other T side, one of my other T side minimal, minimal, minimal wares, not minimal wares, uh, other my T side thingies. I don't actually remember the float on this, but it is factory new. 3x uh, into the reach, gold stickers again. Um, pretty much all these crafts are ones that I've done. I don't think I've really bought any crafts, I tend to just make them. Um, but yeah, 3x candy apple, bison, factory new. It's quite nice. I like it. I like the bison, it's just funny. And then because every good loadout's got to have an again in it, I went with a nuclear waste, souvenir, Cato 15s again. They're not the best positions because I couldn't, to be honest with you, for the life of me find one that was in the best positions. So I just got this one. It's got the Penta Esports and Fnatic and then the ESLs on the mag. And then this did in fact have the other, I don't know what that sticker's called, there. And I've just left it there because it seems to work, don't know why. A rush beat, that's yeah, either way. But, yeah, I use the Negev, and this is the Negev I use. And then the last one I use, because I don't particularly like any of the other SMGs, and let's be honest, the sword off is not very good, is I use the auto shotgun, and I have the uh, sneaky beat department stickers again, because it's black and white. It seems to, It's just has a little pop of colour. I quite like it. Double O flow, I know. Um, yeah, it's just nice. A fairly nice skin. And the XM is very rarely pulled out, but it's it's a good gun when you pull it out. It's good to say when you need it to be. Moving on to the T side rifles, I use a Scout 001 float, I think it is. Factory new Catavita 2019, because I for a little while I had a full Catavita Souvenir 2019 uh, set. Uh, this was the Scout I used for that. It was Cata 19, Astralis MIBR. I think it's the semi finals. Um. Yeah, really nice scout. I for, have forever liked this scout. Uh, I don't. It's just call me. I I really would love the Olaf, an Olaf Pass scout, but that is like way more than I can afford. Uh, so I'll set up for a Catavita 2019 one because I couldn't afford a Catavita 2015 one either. So I'll set up for this for now. And because I seem to like the color scheme, I have gone for the tuxedo, double O float, with the sneaky beaky hollows again. Because I just like them. I, I don't know. They're a bit daft. They've just got a wacky duck and a... It's just cool. I like it. Seems to suit me. Double O float. Nothing spectacular. Just fairly nice looking glue. Fairly clean. Fairly nice. Thought I'd give you a little bit of a tease. So I'm actually going to jump to the SG next. Because I use the SG. Don't really use it that much. But it pops up every so often. It's quite good. Now again. Before the thingies. So this actually only has a 3x craft on it. Uh, into the breach, gold stickers, on the candy apple. You can tell I've got somewhat of a red theme on the T side, but not all of them. I, just, I wasn't going for it, it just seemed to happen. But nice and clean, bit of pop of colour, but just nice clean, double O float, candy apple. Now for the crowning jewels of the uh, all of the, everyone's in, in thingies, everyone has an AK. I use the red laminate, I have for years. Don't know why, just keep going back to it. Um, but uh, this is what I use currently. It has, I can't even remember what Astralis stickers. London 2018, I think. Hollow at the front. Field tested. It's nothing, nothing special. It's just got oh, the 3X. I put the 3X uh, too old for this stickers on. And the Astralis one came on it when I bought it because it was the cheapest on the market, to be honest with you. It's nothing special about it at all. I just like it and have done for a long time, to be honest with you. But the most important weapon on everyone's loadout is always the AWP. Even though you don't use it that often. To be honest with you, I've, I've strayed away from AWPing recently because I've just not been hitting my shots. I've got this double O float Sun in Leo with a Dragon Lord foil on it that I put on years ago, like five years ago. Uh, I've had this skin for a long time. I think like 2018 time. Um, I think, I, I can't remember if I crafted it or bought this one, but it's a double O float. Um, really clean. And I have used this AWP for ever. I don't think I've ever really not used it. It's always sort of been my AWP. Uh, it's just sort of like a running joke between my friends that this is the AWP that I always use. 
and you never see them either they're really because they're pattern based really unique i like the purple on them it's one of my favorite to be honest, it's probably one of my favorite orb skins in the entire game even if i had like an unlimited budget i'd still use one of these i think but let's go on to the ct side now now moving into ct side i will say this is going to go probably a lot quicker because for ct side i have obviously there's quite a lot of duplicated weapons like I'm not going to re-show you the fact that I have a P250 crew. Like, I've already shown you that. I still use the same P250. I still use the same Julie's, and I still use the same Deagle. So the only difference is I use a USPS, which I have the print stream for. I have to match my Deagle. It is well-worn, I want to say. It's either well-worn or field-tested. Um, I have the same craft I have on my Deagle. Three eggs, ducky hollows. And I just like it. It's not my favorite USPS. But it's one that's been I've had for a long time, and I haven't got round to getting rid of it too much. I just like because there's nothing wrong with it. I like it. I, as there is is the ones I think are nicer. Yes, is the ones I'd rather have. It is field test as well because I've just checked. There is, but I do really like this, and I like the craft, and it goes with my deagle. So I've still got it. I'll have it for probably quite a long time as well. It's onto the uh, onto the five seven now. Onto the 5.7, I use the Copper Galaxy at the moment. Entirely because of when CS2 came out, it, uh, yeah, the light changed it, man. It was a different, it was a decent skin before, but oh, it just looks so nice. It's gone a little bit dulled down now in comparison, but I still really like it. It's just clean, and I haven't put any crafts on it yet. Uh, I might do, but I'd have to find the right sticker to sort of, like the right bronzy sticker to match it, to, uh, which I haven't done yet. I don't think it's a particularly special float or anything like that. I think it's just factory new, to be honest with you. It's just like... I got the first one that was like a reasonable float and pretty clean. Um, and like I said, still use the same Julie, still use the same PG-50, and I still use the same Deagle. So I will jump past showing you all of them again. And I'll move on to the mid-tier ones now. So in the mid-tier section, I actually, again, use the same Nova. I use the same Bison. And I use the same Negev. The only difference here on this uh, CT side is obviously I've got the MP9 instead of the Mac 10, which in, for the MP9 I use this double O float Ruby Poison Dart with a 4x Ruby Poison Dart foils on that I crafted myself during the operation as well actually, um, just because I really like the sticker and I really like the gun. Uh, I do have another MP9 that I use sometimes that I quite like. It's a factory new Cato 15 best positioned Dark Age. That I actually bought off my friend for like 15 quid years ago. Um, I think he said he was wanting to buy it back actually recently. But currently I'm actually using this instead of it. Just because it had been in my storage unit for a couple of years and I really want to use it again. So uh, yeah, that's the MP9 I rock with. And I'll show you the Mag 7 now. So obviously I use the Mag 7 on CT side. This is in place of the auto shotgun. Because I actually don't use the auto shotgun. Uh, I'd rather use the Mag 7. I think it's just slightly better. Uh, and again, this is actually not a factory new. It's like a decent float. It's like an 09 or 0.10 float at minimum wear. But it's fairly clean. Um, I bought this, again, because I like the bulldozers. They're a bit unique. You never really see them. And when they first CS2 came out, they made like certain skins like this really clean looking. So I was like, this is a chance to go and get one and have it look really nice. And I think this does. Um, and I slapped four Mr. Chief hollows on it. Not hollows. Mischief's just papers. Because it's funny. And it somehow works quite well with the skin. Because like his glasses are like... Uh, like his goggles, sorry. Are like similar sort of colour to the actual body of the uh, Mag 7. I think it works. And I like it. It's been a good servant. Got some good clothes with this thing. I'll move on to the rifles now. Because I, I, I said it again. I, I use the Mag 7, the MP9, I use a Nova, I use a Bison, and then again, and three of those I use the same exact thing on T side and CT side, so there's no point showing you them all again. But I've got a few different rifles. The first and probably least interesting rifle is the Org. It's a chameleon. It's fairly cheap and cheerful. It's nice looking. It's got a fairly cool craft on it, which you can make so much better now because you can move the stickers and put them exactly where you want them to rather than stuck with the positions. But this is like three and a half years old. It's an old craft. It's an old skin. I think it's an O1 one float. It might not be. I couldn't tell you. I know it's factory new. I've had it forever. It's pretty cool looking. It's, it's nothing spectacular, but it'll do. I like it, and I've uh, I've not changed for a long time because I just it just 
I like how it looks. But well, let's go into some more interesting ones now. And to kick off the M4Rs, obviously I use both M4Rs actually on CT side. And the one I use on, for the A1S at the moment is the Prince Room um, to match my USPS and my Deagle. Same craft as well, but this has got 4x of the Sneaky Beakies, and this is well worn, not field tested. Um, because the field tested ones are way more expensive than these, even though these are quite expensive. Um, it's a nice skin. Fairly plain looking, but got a nice little pop of colour. Like, nice little gradient, little shine here and there. Looks really good in the light. Um, yeah, this, it's just a nice, nice looking skin. Something I, I like a lot. But with the new black lotus coming out i might be swapping it at some point because i think i quite like that a bit more to be honest but we'll see i'll show you my m4a4 now now the m4a4 i use i actually bought this on a whim during the middle of a vertigo match because my friend said i didn't realize how cheap these were and i was like oh wait they are quite like not cheap but way more reasonable than i thought they were and i was like Do you know what i'm looking for a4 skin because before this, I was using an evil Daimyo with 4x, too old for this. Um, so I just bought this field tested one off CS Flow, actually. It was a reasonable price, only like 200 quid at the time. So it's not that bad. I think it's a little more now. But it's a nice looking M4. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, I'd just say it's one that I really like. And the new collection has got some quite nice skins in. So, And I was kind of hoping this might go up a bit with the. I don't know. I don't know. It might do, might not. But I like it. And that rounds out my inventory because I use the same scout and I use the same AWP both sides. If I had like a really nice AWP, let's say a Dragon Law, I would still use this in Leo, but I'd use it on CT side. But I don't, so I use it on both. Either way, that's what my inventory looks like, or my loadout looks like at the moment. Just a quick rundown. These are my CT ones. These are my T ones. I want to see how it ends up in the back end of next year, to be honest with you, because I wouldn't be half surprised if quite a lot of stuff changes. But see you then. Let's see if that happens. If I do, I'll see you then. Ta.